um, un mono. Uh, Elena, uh, su papá es, uh, no es, uh, un no persona. es una persona. Una persona. Uh, su papá es uh, uno, or un mono de plástica. No es normal. <laughs> Correcto. No es normal, sí. Su papá es un mono de plástico y Elena está en Target. Uh -huh. Elena está en Minneapolis, Minnesota. Elena busca un uh -huh. uh, mono de plástico. Es una situación muy interesante. Pam, describe la situación. Uh, Elena está uh, en Minneapolis, Minnesota. Elena uh, busca un mono de plástico en Target, pero no hay ninguno. Uh, Elena, uh, su, su, pa su papá de Elena es un mono de plástico. Correcto, sí. Elena es, es una chica. Elena está en Minneapolis, Minnesota. Elena está en Target. Y Elena quiere comprar un mono de plástico. Ella no tiene un mono de plástico. Quiere comprar un mono de plástico porque su papá es un mono de plástico. Es una situación muy interesante. Evi, describe la situación. Hay una chica, la chica es, uh, se llama El Elena. Elena uh, está en Minneapolis, Minnesota, en Target. Uh, Elena busca un mono de plástico uh, porque... Uh, um, 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 porque her uh, um, gato, her, su gato, su papá, um, <laughs> pata, pata, uh, papá. I mean, sí. <laughs> gata, um, quiere un oh, plasti, sí. uh, mono de plástico. Correcto. Uh, uh, Lena, uh, Busco en Target, pero no hay ninguno en uh, Target. Celebración, muy bien. Greg, describe la situación. La chica es Elena. Elena está en Target en Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, Elena busca un mono de plástico. Um, but I, I, I've been having trouble with the speaker. I'm not following about her father. You said su papa, something I didn't follow. Which yeah, was being his, said. Her dad is a plastic monkey. Thank you. Su okay, papa por que, es papa. un mono de plástico. Thank you. Okay, está bien, excelente. Uh, una persona más. Uh, Joe, describe la situación. Ok. Hay una chica, Elena, uh, buscar un uh, mono de plástico porque ella tiene un papá mono plástico. No entiendo. Uh, es, es muy... Uh, mi mente no, no, no es posible. Oh, todo es posible en la clase de español. Sí, todo es posible. Aparentemente. Sí. <laughs> es correcto, es obvio, todo es posible. <laughs> sí. Ok, muy bien. Todo es posible. Todo es posible en la clase de español. Es regla, the regla is rule. 
regla número uno de la clase. Todo mm. es posible. Pero en ella, la clase de español. Pero también ella tiene una enemiga. No, no quiere uh, que tenga un mono de plástico. Y ella compra, com, compró, com, compró todo los monos en Target. Oh, no. Es una situación terrible. Sí. Pobre Elena. Pero Elena no está contenta. La vida loca. Elena no está contenta porque una amiga compró todos los monos de plástico en Target. Es una situación terrible. Elena, ¿tú estás contenta? No estoy contenta. ¿Por qué? Que no tengo un mono de plástico, pero uh, quiero un mono de plástico porque mi papá es un mono de plástico. Correcto. Y también tú no estás contenta porque una amiga, una amiga compró todos los monos de plástico en Target. Oh. Es una situación terrible. ¿Hay otra razón por qué tú no estás contenta, Elena? ¿Cuál es razón número dos? Sí, uh, mi enemiga compró uh, todos los monos de plástico en Target. ¿Es uh, amiga o enemiga? Es enemiga. Oh, entiendo. Correcto. Yo entiendo. Es una situación terrible para Elena. Pobre Elena, no está contenta. Ok, 40 second mute. Everybody, describe la situación. I'll time you and so everybody mute. Okay, tiempo. Okay, I want to hear someone that felt like they were three. Retell it to everybody. So if you felt like you were, you were about in the middle there, why don't you retell it? Paige, you want to try it? Sure. Okay. Elena está en Target porque ella quiere un mono de plástico. Quiere, ella quiere un mono de plástico porque uh, ella papá es un mono de plástico. Un, uh, Elena's enemiga compró todos los monos de plástico en Target. Hey, you're doing great. Love it. Good job. You know what? We had this story in Portuguese. And so the, the verbs here like are busca and necesito and that. Uh, so I came to Brazil for two weeks to work on my Portuguese. And this story really helped. Because like if I'm in a store or something, in Portuguese, busca is procuro. So I can just say, I'm looking for, and they, they understand me, they can just go right and help me. And also in, in Portuguese, I need is preciso. And those words just come in so handy. And it was all because of this story. And so these are really, really good uh, verbs to know. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver más. 
Elena sale uh, de Target. Yo no salgo de Target. Elena sale de Target. Porque Target no tiene un mono de plástico. Elena, yo salgo de Target o tú sales de Target? Uh, oh, un yo... momento, un momento. Uh, Joelle's got her, got her hand up. Joelle, what's your question? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, um, what, how do you say bought, like in the past? Compro. Okay. See, her okay. enemy went in Target and bought all the plastic monkeys. That, that's mm -hmm. why there weren't any. So the word is, compra is buys, compro is bought. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you for asking, I love it. Whenever you guys ask, there's other people with the same question, and then that lets us answer it. Okay, yo no salgo de Target. Yo estoy en McDonald's. Yo salgo de, that de means from, so I leave from McDonald's. Salgo de McDonald's. Elena no sale de McDonald's. Elena sale de Target. Elena, describe, compara tu situación con mi situación. Sí, uh, estoy en Target, pero tú estás en McDonald's. Y yo salgo de Target muy triste, pero... Muy triste. ¿Por qué? Muy ¿Por qué triste. sales muy triste? Porque no, tiene, no tengo un mono de plástico. Correcto. Y, y yo tú... salgo triste de McDonald's también porque yo mm -hmm. quiero pizza. Y McDonald's no tiene pizza. Oh, no. Oh. Es una situación terrible para mí. Describe mi situación y tu situación, Elena. Ok. Um, estoy en Target, pero tú estás en McDonald's. Y... Mm -hmm. Yo salgo de Target muy triste porque no, tiene, no tengo un mono de plástico, pero tú uh, sales de McDonald's porque muy you triste leave. porque tú... Uh, tú sales es you, so, he leaves. Oh, so, um, tú sales? Yep. sales? Yeah, perfect. Just put an S on it and that's what you do when you're talking to me. Okay, keep going. You're doing great. By the way, you never salas? Yeah, perfect. De, de, de McDonald's. McDonald's muy triste. Sí. De McDonald's muy triste porque uh, quiere un pizza, pero McDonald's no tiene pizza para tú. Correcto. McDonald's no tiene pizza para mí. Yo salgo de McDonald's muy triste. Yo quiero pizza. Yo busco pizza en McDonald's, pero McDonald's no tiene pizza. No estoy contento, estoy muy triste. Kel, describe mi situación y la situación de Elena. Uh, sí, uh, Blaine está en McDonald's. Talk to me. Just oh, tú está. Yeah. Tú está en McDonald's. And put an S because uh, you're talking to me. Tú, es tú estás en McDonald's. Uh, ¿Por qué tú quieres pizza? Correcto. Pero McDonald's no tiene pizza. Um, tiene hamburguesa, sí. pero no pizza. No pizza. Uh, tú sales McDonald's muy, muy triste y frustrada. Y Elena, estás en Target, uh, porque Elena tiene un mono de plástico uh, y Target no tiene un mono de plástico porque Elena's enemiga comprar compró Compro, todos todo. monos de plástico en Target. Elena es muy frustrada. Muy frustrada. Es una situación este, terrible. Sí. Para Elena, no está contenta. Celebración, muy bien. Don Rowe, describe mi situación, compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. Okay. Tú, you were in Target, so wouldn't I say tú estabas 
in well, McDonald's? You could you could say that, or you can say it in you are or you were, either one. Whatever you feel comfortable, they're both right. Factually correct. Two establish <laughs> in McDonald's. Uh, porque tu quieres una pizza. Pero uh, McDonald's no tiene pizza, tiene hamburguesa, pero no tiene pizza. Tu uh, sales McDonald's muy triste. Uh, Elena estaba en Target porque uh, Elena busca uh, para un um, mono de plástico, pero Target no tiene uh, mono de plástico porque su enemiga compró todos los monos de plástico en Target ayer. Uh, Elena uh, sale Target muy triste. Es una situación terrible para Elena. Celebración, muy bien. Rebecca, compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. Sí, uh, Elena uh, sale de Target muy triste porque Elena... I want to stop there. You guys, uh, Rebecca said this right. She said, in Spanish, you have to leave from Target. So you say sale de. So whenever you're leaving something, you've got to put that de in there. Busca is the opposite. Busca has an extra word that's already built into the, the looks for. So you don't say looks busca para. That para is built into the busca. So you say busca un mono de plástico. But when she leaves the place, sale de. Now, that's mm -hmm. only if your brain's ready for that. If that's too much, forget about it and say what sounds right. Most of your speaking, we want you to say what sounds right, but if you're ready for these little explanations, then do it. Okay, Rebecca, describe la situación. Sí, uh, porque Elena busca un mono de plástico, pero hay, no hay ninguno en Target. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Sí, pero, sí, pero tú es Estás en McDonald's, tú buscas, ¿sí? ¿Buscas? Sí, yo busco, correcto. Ah, busco sí, una ah, pizza. Sí, tú buscas una pizza en McDonald's, pero um, por, por supuesto, no hay pizza en McDonald's. Oh. Entonces, tú sales de McDonald's muy triste. Muy triste. ¿Por qué salgo de McDonald's triste, Rebecca? Porque no hay pizza en McDonald's. Oh, y terrible. Tú, Estoy muy qué? triste. Sí. Es una situación terrible para mí. Ah, celebración. Sí. Muy bien. Shelly, describe mi situación y la situación de Elena. Um, Elena um, está en Target uh, porque, porque ella uh, buscando mono de plástico. Uh, pero Elena sale de Target muy triste porque no hay mono de plástico en Target. Oh. Um, let's see. Tú estás en McDonald's uh, um, porque uh, tú buscas... Uh, pizza? Is that right? No. Correcto. Uh, pizza okay. And McDonald's. <laughs> Pero no. Oh, muy uh, interesante. Oh, no, sí. Yeah, porque no pizza in McDonald's. No, um, no hay pizza in McDonald's. No hay pizza in McDonald's. Um, <laughs> así que um, tú sales a McDonald's, de McDonald's. Sí, correcto. Salgo triste o salgo contento? Uh, tú sales, oh, muy triste. Oh, ¿Por qué? Oh, you, okay. Uh, tú es sales correcto. muy triste. Salgo triste, triste pero ¿por qué salgo triste? 
Uh, we repeat that. Por qué salgo triste de McDonald's? Oh, uh, tú sales um, McDonald's porque no, uh, no hay pizza en McDonald's. Correcto, no hay pizza. Yo quiero pizza, pero McDonald's no tiene pizza. Joe, what's your question? ¿Cuál es hace qué? So. Hace qué? So. So. Oh, just so? Uh, like, por, uh, entonces. Yes, entonces. Oh. I asked that in my Portuguese. I had a Portuguese class today, and I didn't know how to say that in Portuguese. And they said entao, which is entonces. <laughs> it's the word entonces. So it's in either one, entonces or así. Así que. Así que. Good okay. Entonces means so? Yeah. They're okay. both connecting sentence connectors. Joe went to the store, so then he went to the section, so then they connect the sentences. Like the word then, then he went there, then he went there, but, uh, but it's the same uh, in Portuguese. I, yeah, I learned uh, entonces was more like therefore. Yeah, it's what about connecting. Por they're eso. Both connect. so okay. They're both very, very high frequency. The asique and the entonces. Okay, Joel, did you talk yet? Joel, describe la situación. Okay, um, Elena is, uh, is like from the beginning? Whatever, compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. Okay, um, Elena uh, is, está en Target in um, Minneapolis. Sí. Y um, ella, bus ella está bu buscando un mono de plástico. Porque su papá es un mono de plástico. Um, uh, ella sale de Target muy triste porque no hay, no había, había is there, uh, there was, right? Yeah, there was, you said no había, which is there wasn't. There wasn't. Perfect yeah. Spanish. Okay. Um, no había uh, monos de plástico en Target. ¿Por qué no? Uh, no hay, no había monos de plásticos en Target porque su enemiga um, compró todos oh. los monos de plástico. Oh, no. Es una situación terrible. Uh, Joel, describe mi situación. Um, tú estaba en McDonald's. Tú estabas en Perfect. McDonald's. Good job. Porque um, eh, tú quieres un, una pizza, tú busca, buscas uh -huh. una pizza. Um, ¿Es una pizza? Una pizza, correcto. Since it ends in a pizza, it's una. Okay. Um, tú sales de McDonald's. Muy triste porque um, McDonald's no chi, tiene pizza. Um, McDonald's tiene hamburguesa, pero no hay, no tiene pizza. Celebración. How old are you, Joel? I'm 13. You're amazing. You and Julia, you guys, <laughs> I love your 13 year old. Uh, Julia, you're only 12, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be 13 in two months, though. Oh, well, that's why. You're right there with Joel, man. That's, you guys are amazing. Okay, Kim, describe la situación, and then we'll mute. Compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. Uh, Elena uh, busca um, mono de plástico en Target. Mm -hmm. Target. No hay mono de plástico en Target porque... Su enemiga compró todos los manos de plástico. Elena sale de Target muy triste. Tú um, estás en McDonald's porque tú um, quieres pizza, 
um, no hay pizza en McDonald's. Uh, tú sales de McDonald's muy triste porque no hay pizza. Celebración. Excelente. Now, you guys, one thing on Kim, notice that she put an S. When you're talking to me about me, say an S. You said, quieres and sales. And then when you're talking about Elena, she just say, quiere and sale. That's how you distinguish between her and you. Joel, did you have a question? Okay. Okay, uh, 45 seconds. Everybody mute, describe la situación. Okay, tempo. How do you do time-wise? This is all the time. This is close to all the time. Okay, it looks good, you guys. You guys are great. Good job. Okay, uh, Elena sale de quiere un mono de plástico. Va a su mamá y le dice. Okay, uh, Elena, have you had I say? How do you Digo. say, I tell her, or I say to her? Digo. Digo, right. Then how do you do the her? Uh, uh, le dice? Le digo is I tell her. Okay. And she tells her is le dice. So when I'm talking about you, you're going to say, goes your mom, or I'm telling the class, Elena va a su mamá y le dice. But you're going to say, boy, a uh, mi mamá y le digo. Okay. Correcto? Okay, Elena. Elena va hacia su mamá y le dice, mamá, no estoy contenta porque no tengo un mono de plástico. Elena, describe tu situación. ¿Qué haces tú? Uh, so I would say, boy, Hacia a mi mamá y le dijo. Yeah, D, it's a G, digo. digo. Y le digo, mamá no está contento porque, uh, por te, contenta porque no tengo un mono de plástico. Correcto. Tú vas hacia tu mamá y tú le dices, mamá, no estoy contenta. Porque no tengo un mono de plástico. Es una situación muy interesante. Uh, Rebecca, describe la situación de Aaron. ¿Qué hace uh, Aaron? Oh, not Aaron. Okay. Elena. <laughs> when, when I say what she said, should I say in the first person perspective or third person? You're talking about her. So okay. you will talk in third person. Okay, uh, so Elena va hacia su mamá y le dice. Um, le now dice you're quoting que... her. Now you're quoting Elena, so now you're going to go to first person since you're quoting oh, her. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, y le dice, mamá, no estoy contenta porque no tengo uh, un mono de plástico. Celebración, correcto. Elena, describe tu situación. Sí, uh, voy hacia uh, a mi mamá y le digo, mamá, no está contenta porque no tengo un mono de plástico. Now, when you say no está, you're talking about estoy. someone else. No está, correcto, muy bien. Si tú vas hacia tu mamá y tú le dices, mamá, no estoy contenta. No tengo un mono de plástico. 
I have a uh, question. See, Bibia. Um, is there no ah in there? Um, I think it's called that personal a or something. Yeah, if you said ladies say ah to mama, it would be there. But I mean after. where it goes va asia asu mama, no? Yeah. Uh, the word asia, it takes the place of ah. Okay. I don't even know that I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah. I guess I have. We don't like it actually. Americans don't like it. We say va a, but Spanish people, it's just not in their language to say that va a. And so native speakers make us put it in there because that's the way they talk. Okay, but, so that replaces the a. Uh. Yeah. It, okay. If we said, like we say va a McDonald's, that's fine. But if you go to a person, you got to say go towards the person. It's just their language. Oh, it's for, just for a person. Okay. We don't like it though. Because <laughs> we can say buy a McDonald's. So why can't we say go to the person? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, if you say ba a su mama, they'll understand you fine. It's just not perfect Spanish. So our and our overheads not we have to make them perfect. People will they'll write in and throw rocks at us or something. <laughs> Malia, describe la situación con Elena. Pues, uh, ok, so Elena uh, estaba en Target y ella busca, uh, uh, buscó al, uh, oh, buscó mon, uh, monos de plástico y su padre es un mono de plástico también, porque no está, no estaba, there were not, estaban, is that correct? Estaban as they weren't. Estaba they were, she they wasn't. Esta, no, okay, Target no uh, tiene, ti, shoot, tiene, I still struggle with that. You can go present on that. Tar okay. Target doesn't have, it's perfect. Target no, okay. Target no tiene uh, monos de plástico. Y, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah. y ella uh, so sal, I'm <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> ella sale uh target uh muy triste is is that sí. correct sale okay. de target muy triste sale de target muy triste um y a, a ti um, va hacia va elena va hacia su mamá hacia su mamá sí uh, okay um ella uh, va hacia su mamá y uh, ella le ella le dice a su mamá uh, mamá, no estoy contenta porque um, no tengo un mono de plástico y no tengo, oh, y mi padre es un mono de plástico. Celebración, muy bien, excelente. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want you to try just a little, this, this little bit. Elena va hacia su mamá y le dice, mamá, no estoy contenta Porque no tengo un mono de plástico. 20 seconds. Everybody mute. <clears throat> Okay, tiempo. Okay, la mamá. I have a question really quick. Yes, oh, I should, I, you know what, I forget to ask. I wanna ask you, do you have questions? Do you guys have any questions? <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, the asia, I'm, I'm kind of confused on that word. Is that, back in my notes, it said it was either made or did. Yeah, that's What's the, the translation word? of? Okay, that's with an accent mark. And it, then it's pronounced Asia. But this, the stress is on the A. So it's Asia. So it's, it's, a, it's really a hard part of the language. We just do it because native speakers make it do it. You just say va a su mamá. Yeah. You'll sound like a gringo, but you know, who cares? So what does it mean though? Goes towards her mom. Oh, towards. They okay. have to say towards the mom. To the va, uh, 
but in English we say goes to her mom. In okay, Spanish we say goes goes towards her mom. So, so we just right. don't like it. <laughs> As English so speakers. If we say va a uh, mi mama, they know we're American. They'll know you're American, yeah, because they won't say that in their language. They they're gonna say Asia. But you, but they'll understand you perfectly and you'll say, Oh, good Spanish. <laughs> so it's yo voy hacia mi, mi mama, not a that's, mi mama. That's, that's what hacia that's what Julia mama. said. Voy okay. hacia okay. mi mama. That's what she said one. Y le digo, and I le say digo, to digo, right? Le digo. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to translate that. If I were gonna say it, okay. No, that's perfect. You know that digo is important. Again, I'm going through all of this, and here in Brazil and Portuguese and those to talk about yourself el vejo el digo el, you know i'm just going through all those and el escuto <laughs> are you in brazil right now what's that are you in brazil right now yeah you know what it is almost nine o'clock here <laughs> it's late at night. <laughs> i'm in a town called joao pessoas I went down to the beach today and jogged, and when I was coming back at about 7.30, it was 92 degrees here. It's the middle of the summer. <laughs> I'm just sitting here sweating. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, it's uh, interesting being in the summer in the middle of January. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go on here, la mama. I'm just gonna skip this, okay. Elena ba a Hawaii. See, now there are ah is back. So this is easier now. <laughs> you don't have to say go towards Hawaii. Ba a Hawaii. Uh, Elena, a donde vas? Uh, voy a Hawaii. Correcto. Elena va a Hawaii. Uh, yo voy a Hawaii también. Elena, tú vas a Hawaii porque tú quieres un mono de plástico. Yo voy a Hawaii porque yo quiero que. Yo quiero what? Tú quieres pizza. Correcto. I'm just asking her. I want, then I said, que, what? Ah. And then she answered me, said, yeah, tú quieres pizza. Correcto. Tú vas a Hawaii porque tú quieres un mono de plástico. Yo voy a Hawaii. Porque yo quiero pizza. Elena, describe mi situación. Compara mi situación con tu situación. Sí. Um, could I say, like, how would you say we both? Like, could you say... M-O-S, most... then. Vamos. Okay. So, vamos a, a Hawaii. Um, Pero yo voy a Hawaii porque quiere a uh, mi papá. Quiere is somebody else. Oh, uh, quiere, quiero a uh, mi papá um, es un mono de plástico. Y tú uh, vas a Hawaii porque um, tú quieres pizza. Correcto. Yo voy a Hawaii porque yo quiero pizza. Y tú vas a Hawaii porque tú quieres un mono de plástico. Tú quieres un mono de plástico porque tu papá es un mono de plástico. Vivian, no describe. Oh, do you have a question, Elena? Well, like, how would you say I want my father, the plastic monkey? Would Quiero you... mi papá. Quiero mi papá. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. I don't know. I want my father. <laughs> Sound funny to me. I don't know. It's, it's the same. It'd be the same way. Okay, Vivian, compara. Yo voy a Hawaii porque yo quiero pizza. Elena va a Hawaii porque Elena quiere un mono de plástico. Elena y yo vamos a Hawaii. Now, if you were going to say you guys, you're going to put an N on the va. You can say, tú y Elena van a Hawaii for you guys. If you want, if not, don't uh, skip it. Describe mi situación. 
eh, con la situación de Elena? Uh, tú y Elena van a Hawaii porque Elena uh, quiere un mono de plástico y tú quier, quieres una pizza. Correcto. Voy a Hawaii porque yo quiero una pizza. Elena va a Hawaii porque Elena quiere un mono de plástico. Es una situación muy interesante. Jenny, describe mi situación, compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. You're silenciada. Oh, we still can't hear you. We still can't hear you. Oh, there Sorry, you I think I've lost my speaker. Okay, we can hear you fine now. Oh, can, can you? you? Hear what's okay. going on? My speaker's weird. Blaine quieres una pizza. Uh, Correcto. Quiero Elena, una pizza. Elena va a Hawaii porque quiere un mono de plástico. Correcto. Celebración. Muy bien. Paige, compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. Tú va, vas a Hawaii porque tú quieres un pizza. Y Elena va a Hawaii también porque ella quiere un mono de plástico. Celebración, muy bien, excelente. Brig, compara mi situación con la situación de Elena. Elena va a Hawaii porque Elena quiere mono de plástico. Uh, um, yo, um, yo, if you go to Hawaii too for pizza, that's what I'm not following. Yeah, you're, you're going to tell me you go, tú vas, because you're talking to me. I go to Hawaii because I want pizza. Elena goes to Hawaii because she wants a plastic monkey. Oh, I didn't know you went to Hawaii. Yeah, I did too. I'm, I want pizza. So, to esta uh, Hawaii quiere pizza? Sí. Yo voy a Hawaii porque Yo. quiero pizza. Elena va a Hawaii porque Elena quiere un mono de plástico. I have a question. Yes, ask. When would you say fue a Hawaii versus va a Hawaii? Va says he goes. Fui says I went. So I am already in Hawaii, so I would tell you fui a Hawaii. Y ahora estoy en Hawaii. So I just said I went to Hawaii and now I'm in Hawaii. Uh, Carol. How would you spell I went to Hawaii? F-U-I. F-U-I. That fui. says fui. I went. went. Yeah, fui. And to so, say you went, if I were saying you went to Hawaii? Fuiste. F-U-I. It's, it's not just an S on that. It's S-T-E. Fuiste a Hawaii. Good job, you guys. You guys are really coming on. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Uh, oh, Elena va a Walmart in Honolulu. Hay un chico. Ve uh, a un chico in Honolulu. Uh, Elena, uh, yo voy a McDonald's. Yo veo a una chica. No, 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 no. Yo voy a Pizza Hut en Honolulu y veo a una chica en Pizza Hut. Y yo le digo, quiero pizza. Tú vas a Walmart en Honolulu y tú ves a un chico. 
y tú le dices, hola chico, tengo un problema. Describe mi situación con tu situación, Elena. Okay. Is that too much? Well, Try it. So you want a Pizza Hut, right? Yeah. Not McDonald's. Okay. And so, I see a girl. You right. You okay. go to Walmart and you see a boy. That's the difference. Right. Okay. Um, tú vas a Pizza Hut in Honolulu y uh, how would I say you see? It's, you see it right there. It's on your screen. Veo mm -hmm. is I see. Ves, ves. Is you see. And ve okay. is he, she. Mm -hmm. So, tú ves a una ch chica y le dice, um, hola, chica, quiere un pizza. Correcto. Uh, yo, un pizza. yo veo a una chica y yo le digo, hola, chica, quiero pizza. O quiero una pizza. Sí. ¿Y qué dices tú, Elena, al chico en Walmart? Sí, uh, yo veo un chico uh, en Walmart y yo le digo, hola chico, tengo un problema, quiero, quiero un mono de plástico. Okay, you guys had such good Spanish. The le digo, it's hard for our brains to get that, but she did that perfectly. So she says, I see the boy and him, I tell. The le is him. Digo I tell. Le digo. Tengo un problema. No tengo un mono de plástico. Quiero un mono de plástico. Missy, compara la situación de Elena con mi situación. Uh, okay. Uh, tú y Elena uh, van a uh, Hawaii porque Elena quiero, or quiere uh, un mono de plástico. Uh, tú quieres uh, una pizza. Uh, Elena ve a uh, Chico. Tú ves a Chica, a una chica. <laughs> Uh, Elena, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What lady saying. says. The uh, lady is him. This is says. Says to him. So, Elena, uh, le dice, uh, hola, chico. Tengo, uh, uh, yo quiero, uh, mono de plástico. Tu, uh, dices? I don't know how to say you said. Best. Just say you see. And you can uh, look at that right there. Two vests. Okay, two vests. Yes. Una chica. Two. Uh, <laughs> le dices is. Uh, her uh, is the le. Dices uh, is you tell. Ah. Uh, can you say that one more time? Le is her. Mm -hmm. Dices. Is you tell. So you say mm -hmm. her, you tell. Ladies. Ladies. Ah, ladies. Uh, hola, chica. Uh, yo quiero un, una pizza. Celebración. Muy bien. Okay, you guys, this takes some time on that le. Because your brain is all your life, if you've heard. The him or her goes after the tells. Tells him, tells her. And now we're telling you, we're messing your brain up and saying, it's not tells her, it's her, he tells. Or him, he tells. And that, that takes a lot of repetition to get it. So if you don't say it right, who cares? Because see, this comes just a step at a time, a little by little, by little and you'll get it as you uh, get better. Okay. I find it hard when I'm reading it in those books when that happens because I'm confused about where my, how to read it. Yeah, you know what? I just read a little Portuguese novel and boy, I became more convinced of, you know what? The, it, the novel helped me so much because on the words I knew, 
It just helped me get them better in my mind. And so you guys read that whatever language you have, the reading gets it stronger. So it comes to you quicker. And all, my biggest problem in Portuguese is my hesitation. If you give me time and let me talk slow, 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 why I can get it out. But I just hate to talk with so much pausing. You know, that's not, fluency is not pausing. And now I'm pausing because I'm an intermediate, but I'm not a beginner now. <laughs> and so th this is what we're trying to get you to do on classes is the more you'll read, that'll get those words. Boy, I'm, I loved reading. I read the book twice and, it, and both times through, I thought, boy, my brain just, that really helped. Okay. Uh, Ella va, Elena va a la sección de animales, busca un mono de plástico. Hay uno. Elena compra el mono y está muy contenta. Es el final. Ok, Elena, tú vas, tú vas a la sección de animales y tú buscas un mono de plástico. En la sección de animales hay un mono de plástico. Tú ves, can you hear ves yet? You see, tú ves el mono de plástico y ahora tú compras un mono de plástico. Celebración para Elena. Tú estás muy contenta ahora porque tú tienes un mono de plástico. Elena, describe tu situación. Ok. Um, yo voy a la sección de animales y busco un mono de plástico. Y en la sección de animales uh, hay uno mono de plástico. Y yo... Um, Veo. That's your new word. I see veil. Have you got that in your brain yet or not? Yeah. How would I say I buy? Because. Compro. Compro is I buy. And I bought too? Compre is I bought. Okay. Uh, com y compro uh, la mano de plástico. Y estoy muy contenta porque tengo un mano de plástico. Celebración, muy bien, correcto. You're an amazing girl. You're just incredible. Okay, Elena va a Hawaii, va, uh, entra en Walmart, ve un chi, a un chico y Elena va a la sección de animales y Elena ve un mono de plástico y ella compra el mono de plástico y ahora Elena está muy contenta porque ella tiene un mono de plástico. Celebración para Elena. Excelente. I have a question. Is this question? Yes. Yeah. Just tell it. Just ask a question anytime. You have uh, um, ways to raise your hand too. Oh. Um, the difference between compro and compra, I know you explained it, but it's not in here yet. What, what's the compra, difference? Compra is buys, compro is bought. Compro is bought. So you can, in this, here, you can say either one. You can say she buys a plastic monkey, or you can say she bought. So it's compra and compro. Compra, and, compro. Okay, and backwards. Okay. But no, but then compro is I buy. No. Yeah, pro com, is, yeah, but it's a stress. Right. So compro is I buy. Compro is he bought. There's not much of that in Spanish, but that's one situation. Compro is I buy and compro. compro. Yeah, the stress on the first O is I buy, but the stress on the second O, compro, Makes it past tense. He bought. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
You guys, this Spanish is a is a thing you learn a step at a time. Okay, you can't I'm learn going to learn a hundred things tonight. You may I repeat? May I repeat that back? Yes. Comprar do. is to buy. It's he buys. He buys. Sorry. Now, to oh, with an oh. R. Anytime you add an R, that's how you get the to buy. Oh, okay. So compro is he bought. Yes. And compro is what? He bought. Compro is he bought or she bought. Right. But what's compro? That's he bought or she bought. You're stressing that last O, so that makes it but. Okay, what's the stress on the first O? Compro is Compro. I buy. Gotcha. Think so boy, a uh, pizza hut, he compro Compro. una pizza. Gotcha. Thank you very much. Rebecca. See, uh, I think many people probably know the dictionary for Spanish, but just in case if anyone is looking for, I think the Spanish dict, it's really good. If you're looking for any conjugation for the verb, I think you can find all of them in the dictionary, if that helps. Yeah. And ask me too. I'm always willing to tell you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let me see who didn't. Brig, you didn't get to talk yet, did you? Brig, describe the situation. Somebody's playing the piano. Oh, someone's not muted here. Someone. Okay, Brig, do you want to tell? Do you want to talk? You're muted there. There you go. Okay. Um, Elena, um, va a tu halalulu. Um, Elena, va to Walmart. Um, Walmart in the, um, ella va a la sección de animals, animales, buscando un mono de plástico. Um, and that's about it. Good job. You're doing great, Greg. Good job. Celebración. Okay, I'm trying to see. I don't, I think I got everybody that has camera on to retell tonight. So, you guys are great. You know, it's so, uh, it's so fun for me because I'm going through the same process in Portuguese and I just see how you can't learn more than a thing, you know? You can't learn that language like conjugations don't, it doesn't help learning conjugations, it helps learning the word. And so that's why we, everything is taught in a sentence here. So we say, uh, Elena va a Walmart, Elena compra un mono de plástico. Uh, that's, that's the only way you can learn this. You, you just, uh, the way they teach it in other ways where they have you study conjugations and that, that's not, it doesn't work. That's what I'm doing in my French class right now. I can't really speak much. Julie, you're amazing in this class though. <laughs> you're, you're I learn a lot better instead of memorizing the vocab list of what these words mean and what the conjugations are for the five verbs, so. Yeah, it just doesn't help. So, anyway, did Vaughn come yet? I know he was going to talk to everybody. Uh, I'll tell you what he was gonna say since he's not here. Uh, so, I can't remember if Vaughn's gonna do this tomorrow night. All I know is I'm going to be back Thursday, and uh, but we're looking for some people to once a year order books for us. Uh, we need, and you know, Vaughn can explain it better than I can. But, uh, yeah, we need, you know, uh, I, since I think he's going to teach it tomorrow night, I'll just let him explain it to you. So.
Anyway, any other questions? Any other Spanish questions? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I'm sorry. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I didn't even see it. It's all right, it's all right. I'm paying it's attention okay. to your class. I understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There where's the go. piano when we need it? <laughs> yeah, where's the piano when we need it? <laughs> I have a question, Blaine. Yes, what's your question now? Yeah. Um, about Bus so Busco is I look, right? Busco is I look. Now Busco, Busco so, yes. is he looked for. Looked, okay, that's why I was wondering, because in the reading, it had the Busco with the accent on it. That so he looked. he looked. So is that just always going to be the past tense, or can you say Busco? Gaba too, or is that? Yeah, there's two past tenses. So, so it works for both? Yeah. Okay. Buscaba doesn't complete it. Buscaba 